If there was any doubt, the Prime Minister's trip to Europe this week also had something to do with the fall election. That doubt is gone tonight. Today was as much about making a stand on the world stage as making sure the message would be heard back here at home. Stephen Harper has his sights on two world leaders as this trip wraps up, the Pope and Vladimir Putin. Tomorrow is Harper's first audience ever at the Vatican, and it may not be all polite smiles and handshakes. More on that in a moment. Today, Harper's focus was entirely on Putin, and he had the backdrop to prove it. Senior correspondent Terry Molevsky explains. Terry. Well, Peter Stephen Harper made good use of his trip around the Baltic on board the Fredericton. He got some good campaign footage with the sailors, and he also got to hammer home the message that he's been hammering all week, that Vladimir Putin has got to be stopped. Mr. Putin's recklessness threatens global stability, regional stability, and has spread fear among our Eastern allies. That, my friends, is why you, the men and women of the Royal Canadian Navy, are here. The Fredericton is the showpiece of the Canadian Navy, upgraded with the latest weaponry and combat systems. The ship carries 250 sailors and a helicopter, and it's in the Baltic as part of NATO exercises intended to show Moscow that Eastern Europe will be defended. Harper spent the night on the ship, which dropped him off in the Polish port of Gdynia. Russian ships did keep an eye on the Fredericton during the voyage, but the captain called that completely normal. I fully expect that they're keeping situation awareness as all militaries do where they're operating. Uh, so I would say that they do what we do and they make sure that they know what vessels are operating in, in waters near uh, their areas of interest. Even so, Harper spoke of a looming confrontation with Russia. President Putin's invasion of Ukraine, undertaken to serve his own domestic agenda, political agenda, to divert attention from Russia's long-term decline under his rule, and to interfere with the democratic aspirations of a sovereign country, these things must not be allowed to stand. Harper will now follow Putin, who was in Rome today to see the Pope. Harper will do the same tomorrow. Peter. All right, Terry, thanks very much.